Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Can you guys hear me? I think you can see me, but can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day today? Hey, that's good. It was good? It was day. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, excellent. Glad to hear that. Not too busy, but just yes, a good day. Yes, busy, but uh, it's something that I like to do. Yeah. I think it's a good day. Hmm. Yeah. I agree. You're you're right. If it's yeah, if it's something you like to do, you're happy with it, then it's not a big problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah. So um have you guys gotten notification yet of uh the of the starting date for the next for the next module? Maybe the the next model is uh, after the Holy Week. Mm. Until then? Yes, I see. We always we wait for one month or one month and a half between module and module. Really? Yes. And wow. it's not good for me. Oh wow, that's a long time. I, I didn't yes. realize I didn't realize that you guys were uh, waiting so long. Yes, the last uh, model was in, in, in last year when uh, we wait all the uh, Christmas and all of the New Year and we started until February. Hmm. Uh, something like that. Really? And it, yes, and it's good to, to rest a lot to start fresh again. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yes. There's only and there's only two modules left. You know that, right? I, I don't know what the, that is. Uh, more or less, the time we uh, we wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know that there's only two modules left, right? Two more. Sorry, I I can hear you. Can you hear me right now? Yes, yes. Okay. Then I was saying that there is there are only two modules left. Yes, yes, I think. And then you finish. Number mm -hmm. five, number six. Five and six, exactly. That's it. Okay. For for that reason, I I am still here because this this time is very difficult for me. I know. From eight to ten, uh, but it's I race and I can start the next one. Yeah, yeah, and I get it. There are only two. I, I, I will do my best. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right about that. Yeah. Yes, yes I, I get it. And it's hard. It's hard um, at this time. I, I totally understand it. But thank you for always always connecting, right? And and actually, uh, not only always connecting, but um, always being one of the first ones. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Francisco Eduardo. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, a little tired, teacher, but I'm good. <laughs> yeah. The good part is today I I finish uh, this night shift. Uh -huh. Tomorrow is, is my my day off. Ah. Start, to, start tomorrow and uh, I'm going to work uh, uh, on on Friday on Friday. Hmm. 
That's nice. This is the good part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. That's the good. bad part is uh, in my uh, in my place is very hot in this moment. Oh, really? Wow. Right, teacher. Teacher, wow. in, in, in uh, uh, Istanbul, is, in the, the weather is, is, is full. Is hot right now? Um, right now, right now, um, uh, it's not too, too, too cold. It's it's gotten better this week. It's supposed to, today is supposed to be a very, a a uh, a very, the like the one of the best weather's that we're we've had um recently, uh, because today. Uh, the weather is supposed to be um, at 17, 17, 16. Yeah, something like that. Right now, in this moment, it's at 11, but it feels like it's at 8. In this particular moment, that's 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, so five it's, yeah, right now it's 5, five it's in the morning. Five with uh five oh nine, and um yeah, it says here that it's a it's eleven degrees, but it feels like it's eight. But during the day, so around maybe one or two in the uh, in the afternoon. Or, or no, 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 Celsius, Celsius. Celsius. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. No, it runs. It runs um by Celsius here. So it's um so maybe I'm guessing that around I don't know one or two in the afternoon it's going to be around um sixteen sixteen degrees. Yeah, let's see. In this moment is uh uh is summer in or no. is no. No, no, no. Uh, in this moment, uh, we are in winter. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, spring officially begins, uh, I think, March 23rd or something like that. Uh, something like that, 23rd or 24th. Um, uh, yeah, this month. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me just check. Yeah, twenty first. Twenty first. Okay. Yeah. So in about two weeks, approximately. Right. So like then, about two weeks, we'll start with in spring. I'll start spring. So and spring springtime in Istanbul, they say is beautiful because did you know, did you guys know that tulips are originally from Turkey? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, did you? Tulips, you know tulips? Tulips. Um, what are they called in Spanish? Somebody help me. Tulips. Um, Spanish. Tulipanes. Tulipanes. Ah, ah. Okay, so so tulips are originally from Turkey. Ah. Yes. So the the yeah, they, they are originally from Turkey. And the during the Ottoman Empire, they they started to um take it to other parts of Europe, and that's how they got to like Holland, for example. And so now Holland is very famous for the tulips, but they're originally from Turkey. So in in springtime, Turkey is full of tulips. Oh, well, uh... Yeah, especially in Istanbul, there's this huge park that is just covered with tulips. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing spring. In, in Istanbul, it's, it's going to be gorgeous. Uh, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's a, uh, 
uh, there are many beautiful landscapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Lots of beautiful landscapes. So, um, yeah, it's it's going to be sure. really. In general, the the weather in Istanbul is very is very good because it's not uh not uh, so cool. It's not so mm -hmm. uh, so so hot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's um it's very mild, mild temperature. It's not um it doesn't go too low and it doesn't go too high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so in general it's it's a pretty good weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only yeah, the only thing is that during winter it what they tell me, for example, I have a friend here, she is from Russia. And she was telling me that, you know, Russia is cold, right? right. But she's, she tells me that it feels colder in Istanbul than in Russia because Istanbul is surrounded by water. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, there are many rivers or lakes. Mm, no, it's um, uh, a, ocean. it's it's the okay, it's the um sea. There's a sea, so um, how can I explain? Okay, so you know the Mediterranean Sea, mm -hmm. the Mediterranean. Okay, so there, so we have the Mediterranean Sea here. Then a little bit higher up, there's the age Aegean. Agency, el el Marajeo. I uh, uh, I listen from from this uh, place, but I I don't know. Uh, is near to 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 Turkey. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just let me see if I can I can find a picture to show you. Um see is this this is um so this is not uh, exactly um a, <clears throat> what's it called uh jargon <laughs> but um but it uh but it's going to um, teach you vocabulary related to seeds. <laughs> so let's see. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Where am I going to get this? Oh, no. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah. I've, I've hidden for some reason I can't seem to find the rest of my powerpoints where are my powerpoints hmm Okay, they're hiding somewhere. But anyways, okay, let me see if I can I can find this over here. Um 
Okay, so, all right, so I'm gonna show you what it kind of looks like so you guys get a better feel of what this looks like. Okay, so. So we have here, you guys can see? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. So there's the Mediterranean Sea down here. Okay, so this is the south part, the southern part of Turkey. Then over here, you have the Aegean Sea, okay, Marajil, which is like, um, it's it's like shared with Greece. So part of it is Greek, is Greek, and the other part is Turkey, Turkish. And then over here, you have a strait. There's strait. Un, es un, ¿Cómo se le dice? Un straight? Un estrecho. Es, un estrecho. Un estrecho. Thank you. You guys are helping me with my Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's a strait here um, that's called the Dardanelles. The Dardanelles uh, Strait. And then here there's a sea, which is uh, this, the Sea of Marmara. Okay. And then this is the Black Sea. Okay. El Mar, el, el Mar Negro. Right. The Black Sea. So Istanbul is between the the um, the Sea of Marmara and the Black Sea, and in between, like to connect, what connects is another strait, or otro estrecho, and this is called the Bosphorus. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you go into, you will see this is all of this is is this Istanbul, all of this. All of this over here. So when you see there is a a strait that connects, this is your Europe and this is Asia. Let me see if I can. So you, you're you're getting a better feel, right, of of what it looks like. Okay, and, is uh, 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 a little near to to Russia. Yes, yes. We, we uh, actually there is a part of the Black Sea that that con um it, it has a border with Russia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, a uh, Russia and um and uh, Turkey have like alliances because of that and very good relations actually. Okay, so I got this. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, but tell me if you do. <laughs> um, uh, so, okay, can you see this? Yes. yes yeah. Okay. So, like I said, all, all of this part here. Yeah, all of this is Istanbul. All of this. So. Here's the Sea of Marmara, and here's the Black Sea. And right here, there's a strait, which is the, called the Bosphorus. And it connects the Sea of Marmara with the Black Sea. And this, in, and it also separates, it connects the Sea of Marmara with the Black Sea, but it also separates Europe. This is Europe, and this is Asia. Okay, so you can see that we're surrounded completely by water. 
completely like right, the black this black sea is in the north the sea of marmara is in the south and in the in the middle is the 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 strait yes, so right. everything is water yeah mm -hmm. and i actually live right here mm -hmm. right there yeah so there you are <laughs> yes uh it's this was the the geographical lesson today uh, of today <laughs> yeah thank you for, so, for, for this information it's very interesting mm -hmm. yeah yeah so um uh, yeah turkey is completely surrounded by water if you can see um actually something that's really interesting is that the only way you can get into the Black Sea, the only way is through Turkey. Yes. So, so Turkey controls, actually they have, Turkey has the power to control the entrance to the Black Sea. Mm -hmm. um, so they have this, this power, let's say, um, that it was given to them, uh, that if they consider that their personal um uh, uh the, the 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 nation's um uh what's it called uh security? safety yes yeah, so, yes yeah, safety security is at risk or the world's security is at risk they can close mm -hmm. the entrance to to the black sea so this actually happened this happened when the when the russian ukrainian war started um, like about two or three weeks later, after it started, um, Russia asked permission to for Turkey to to go a, to take some ships into in, into the Black Sea, but Turkey um, realized that uh, those ships did not belong; they were not registered to the Black Sea. So they they denied the entrance, and oh. Turk and Russia didn't said okay no problem, you know because they have to they have to um, a, let uh, Turkey know ahead of time that they're going to be going in and they have to ask permission because they all the the ships all the ships that go into the Black Sea have to go by Istanbul. All of them. Mm -hmm. So, um, so anyway, yeah, and so they 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 have that control there, but of course they can only deny it if they they see that the security is at risk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, that's a little bit geography and <laughs> and po politics for you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, guys. Um, well, we better start our class because that's what we're going to run out of time. Um, so anyway, um, let's uh, start by taking attendance quickly. Um, oh, I just realized I have a big problem, but I'm trying to solve it in a moment. Okay. Um, Okay, here we go. Anna Claudia? Present teacher. Wonderful. Um David? Present teacher. Dora? Present. Eh, Fernando? Present. Eh, Fernando Marvin? Present. Francisco? Francisco? Not here? Okay. Uh, Heidi? Present teacher. Eliana? Present teacher. 
Harbin. What is the teacher? Wonderful. Uh, Jose Marcos. Present. Jose Marcos, you were not here yesterday, right? Yeah, I, I was here. I attend to the class yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that's what this is weird. Okay, um, all right. Um, Jose Wilfredo? Jose Wilfredo? No? Hmm. Okay, Juan Miguel. I'm here, teacher present. Wonderful. How's, how's um, everything going? It's how's going good. Uh, yeah. The weather is kind of eh, like a, if we were at the at the beach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I know Panama is very it's very hot. Hot, yeah, mm -hmm. hot, but uh, not humid. so intense. Yeah, humid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very mm -hmm. humid. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Um. Well, but you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Eh, Roberto Luis. Roxana. Present. Okay. Ms. Roxana. Present. Ah, there she is. Okay, got it. Thank you. William. Present. All right. Uh, so they might go. And Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. Present. Present teacher. Okay, there she is. And Wilfredo. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so um okay, I'm having a little bit of problems because um, my I uh They have my PowerPoint, but the rest of the, I don't, I, the, the rest of the slides are hiding for some reason, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get them back. They're hiding somewhere, but can't see them. So what I'm going to have to do is. You, you don't need to have problems teaching. You see the day for doing the short bit and then go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm sure you'd be very happy with a survey. Just doing the survey and then going to sleep. I'm sure. Okay. Sure. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do Plan B, which is. Hold on, give me a moment. Going directly to the student's book. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you guessed it. I know okay. that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to go directly to the student book. Um, and I'll figure out how I can get that those slides back. Okay, so you guys can see this? Yes. Okay. All right, perfect. So this is this. Pair work, go online and choose three ICT trends that will impact the industry you work for. Okay, so um, not your job, not, not, not the job, like not your specific workplace, but the industry in which you work in. Okay, so whatever industry it is that you work in. Um, Find out information about those trends and describe ways in which the industry you work for will adapt to those trends. Okay. 
gather the information in a slide presentation and rehearse your presentation. So you're going to have to do a consen consensus with your partner as to what, um, if, if, like for example, if both of you work in a different industry, you're going to have to make a consensus which industry you're going to be work talking about. Okay. Um, uh, and you're going to do one presentation, only one. Okay. Does this make sense? Yes. yes. No. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And to guide you, we have here. Um, first, you're going to have to choose the three ICT trends. Okay. Then you're going to write here trend number one, two, and three. You're going to write information about them. Okay. So this is just to help you guide. Um, yourself with in the presentation, okay. All right. So, any questions so far? No questions. No questions. Okay. Huh? No teacher. No questions. Okay. Um. All right, so I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. But I just want to make sure that everybody's here before I do that. OK. OK, uh, Fernando Ernesto. Uh, let me see. Do I see Fernando Ernesto? Fernando Ernesto? No, is that Fernando Ernesto? Ah, it's there. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Francisco Eduardo. Francisco Eduardo, ahí está. Okay. Ileana, ahí está. Heidi. Was there too? Uh, Wendy. Wendy is there? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, William is, I think, there. Yes, I see him there. David is there. Jose Marcos. Jose Marcos, Jose Marcos. I don't know the name of 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 the yeah. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I think not. Uh, Laura, yes, right? Yes, Laura, Laura. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good, thank you. Fernando Marvin? Or... Mm -hmm. Got it. I see. I'm here, teacher. Okay. We're having the balance here. <laughs> okay, great. Harvin is here. Uh, Roberto, I guess not. Anna Claudia is here. And David is here. Okay. All right. So, pretty much everybody is here. So, we're going to. Um, let's see. Let Okay, so I think if I'm not mistaken, I think everybody should have at least one partner. And I think I think we have exactly um everybody has a partner. Exactly everybody should have a partner. So I'm gonna open up. Do you guys need me to send you the 
the um, uh, picture? Yes, teacher, please. Okay. All right, so I'll do that. I'll send you a picture of what you have to do and uh, and also the guide. So I'll send you a picture of both things. Okay, and I'm opening. Oh, and I'm sorry, before for that, I'm gonna be um, giving you guys about, do you think 20 minutes? I think 20 minutes you can do this. Yeah, okay, so um, I'm gonna give you 20 minutes. And you can remember, you gotta make the, you gotta create the, the slides as well, right? The, the presentation. Okay, so now we're opening the groups. Hey guys, do you have any questions? Um, I can't hear you guys. You are mute. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I see the 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 image mm -hmm. in the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're you're still looking at it. Uh, we choose one one trend. Oh, okay, wonderful. Right, teacher, and uh, is uh, uh, one trend uh, by group or or three? No, no, three in your group. Three. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Trends. I see the trends. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you guys, do you have any questions you want to ask me? Uh, for the moment, no, sure. Thank yeah? you. Okay. Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Uh, do you have, where's your partner? William? Um, William, yeah. But... William, are you there? <laughs> yes, but maybe uh, he have a problem or I don't know. But I don't know. William, are you there? Teacher. Uh -huh. um, the technology trends is, for example, Internet of Things, machine learning, virtual reality, for example, uh, touch commerce, mm -hmm. or cognitive technology. I 
I browse in the internet and this is an information I I have but I don't know it's correct. Yeah. Um the, the the topic say five technology trends you need to know to work in industry. Yeah, so um um yeah so for example yeah well, which ones did you say um internet of things mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. matching learning virtual reality mm -hmm. and thought commerce and cognitive technology yeah yeah exactly we can um, we can choose three the this is this is my option yeah exactly three actually you know what i'm gonna do something i'm gonna write in the chat right now some of the trends mm -hmm. but while you while i'm doing this you, you guys can go ahead and and and, and talk with william okay teacher i i can uh how do you say aprovechar? <laughs> Take advantage of? Uh, yes, teacher. I can I can speak in Spanish. A little. Or yeah. Teacher, me faltan unas unas preguntas de la plataforma que no me entiendo. Okay, like what? Uh, me faltan solo me faltan las que las que dice eh, posesivas y, y las tacho como que son incorrectas y ahí me dice la indicación que tengo que escribirlas correctamente por ejemplo eh, la, la sección 3 en la sección 3 en la sección 3 la tarea 3.5 la dos y la tres. Bueno, solo, solo dame un momentito que no le estoy prestando mucha atención porque estoy escribiendo okay. al mismo tiempo. Ya le, ya le voy a dar mi, okay, mi atención completa. Ok, dicho. Okay. Well, okay, now you have my full attention. Okay, teacher. Um, uh, I have a problem with uh, uh, when, when I make the, the correct form, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, uh, I see my cup. Uh, for example, in the in the uh, unit number three, in three period five, the tarea, the tarea de 3.5, mm -hmm. and three. those 
y el tres que yo tengo que, que decir okay. si es correcto okay. o incorrecto. Ok, number two, just eliminate the, um, the period. That's all you have to do for number two. Okay. The the period next to attack. Yeah, the, the period at the end. Okay, just eliminate oh. it. And for number three, we're still we're still getting trying to to um solve the, the problem. Okay, so don't worry about number three right now. Okay. Number me sale siempre incorrecta el teacher, la número dos. Mm. Okay. What, what, what is the answer that you're writing? Eh, le puse one of the nation largest health insurer. Say that the personal okay. information. Write it, write it down because eh, así no, no voy a poder ver porque acuérdense que es un, un, una cosa gramatical, entonces tengo que verlo. Ah, es la, es la 3.5. Yes, no sé. I know, but you have to write your answer, right? Write the answer that you're writing down para que yo pueda ver a dónde está el, el problema. Escríbamelo para que yo pueda ver. Mm, va. Okay, so the, the problem there, you're, you haven't, have, I think you haven't changed anything. No ha cambiado. ¿Qué cambio ha hecho? No, teacher, es que eso es lo que, lo que le mencionaba. Que, o sea, no entiendo. Este tema no lo entiendo. The apostrophe. Uh -huh. Ajá, no sé, no entiendo qué es lo que tengo que hacer. Ok, just give ah, me... Ah, tengo que... Solo es el apóstrofe que está incorrecto. Ajá, el apóstrofe está, está incorrecto. Ah, tendría que ir antes de la S. Uh -huh. uh, exactly. Y el punto si siempre lo dejo, teacher. Um, o tiene algún error. No, don't, don't eliminate the, the period. Eliminate it. Uh, oh, I see. No, si me lo pone incorrecto. Ah, no, no, perdón, perdón. Voy a eliminar el punto. Ajá, ahora sí, teacher. Okay. Okay, very good. Y en la siguiente, el de Office. Pero en la siguiente tengo que colocarle el apóstrofe, creo. Uh -huh. okay. In companies, ever a chat. Sí, pero ya le dije que el número tres ahorita no está funcionando, así que no se preocupe por la tres, porque no, 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 no se la va a recibir de todos modos. 
Ahorita no, no. No se la recibe. No. Uh -huh. oh. Así que no se preocupe y, por eso. Y la, porque yo creo que la vuelve a repetir más adelante. Uh -huh. En el final exam. Pero ahorita, Ajá. como digo, no, 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 no tiene sentido. Eh, o sea, yo le puedo decir si está correcto, pero, uh -huh. pero la plataforma no se la va a tomar igual. Entonces, um, entonces en el final exam solamente corrijo, hago la, porque igual tengo el mismo que me falta la 2 y la 3, entonces la 3 solo la dejo. Uh -huh. So, number 3 is so perfect. So, the answer there, you have to change companies. Ajá, ahí, Com ahí uh -huh. de, 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 lo necesito ponerle la apóstrofe. Yes, but remember, it's only one company, not many. Uh, it's only one, and, so be careful with, because there it looks like company is plural, but it's singular. Entonces, no tengo que, o sea, no, así la dejo, no la hago, ni nada. Mm -hmm. O sea, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí la hago, oh, pero no me la va a tomar. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Company. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. I try to, to continue the next. Uh, well, we need to add uh, some characteristics. Like short definition. Uh, yes, but uh, how I think we can put how this will affect mm -hmm. our our field, our our area. Hello, Juan Miguel. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I didn't um, come earlier, but um, I was I was busy with another group. Um, I'm guessing that you were having that you asked for help because Heidi was not with you, right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. when I, I brought her back in and and thank um, you, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no thank problem. you. You're welcome. So the first one is automation, uh -huh. automation. Uh -huh. Use a, a specific online tools for accounting and tax. Uh, import, importance of regular training in connection to customer. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. It's for me, uh, for example, virtual store of document. In in my case, I have to scan all documents legals, all, all document legals documents of customer. I I have a a, a field for each customer. Okay. You had a file. Yes, I have yes. file five uh for each each customer and I divide the this this information in different in in, in different documents, for example, legal documents. Eh, a contar documents, eh, mm -hmm. letter sent, email sent, son si that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other is the elimination of bureaucracy through the use of the platform. For example, in before uh, I say I I I assist physically in depends in governments depends, but today no, I use the platform. 
I use the platform for for many 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 things. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let me one second. Uh, okay, can you prepare the, the introduction of the presentation? What is ICT trend in business? Please. Mm -hmm. so, so when... We need to present back for introduction. The presentation is a, is a, a concept. Yeah, but a little concept about ICT system, ICT, mm -hmm. sorry, ICT in business. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you do the, the introduction and give me a couple of minutes to, to finish the presentation and I will show you. Okay. <clears throat> Hi. We have a doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay. We select three tenths, three ICT trend, but we only put the the topic and some example we're going to explain when we presentation that. Yeah, exactly. That but we're gonna correct? actually, yes, but we're actually gonna be going to the main room in a moment because right now, because we're gonna be doing the survey, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So so I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. 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 Okay, so Okay, so guys, um I brought you guys back to the main room. Um, although I know that I think the majority of you are not finished with the presentation, but it's okay. Uh, I'll I'll take you back to the, the groups in a moment. But right now we're gonna be doing the, um, the, the survey, okay? So that's why I need everybody to um, work with me. Eh, chicos, um, si me podrían por favor ayudar con sus cámaras, por favor. ¿verdad? para que veamos que todos están allí y en este momento vamos a proceder a empezar con la encuesta entonces eh, si me hacen el favor de tener abierta la información que se les ha mandado verdad para poder completar eh, la encuesta y como siempre vamos a empezar con eh, ver el video um, Por favor, eh, me especifican si ustedes logran ver el video. Um, ah, y no solo de verlo, sino que también se lo pueden escuchar.
¿Pueden ustedes lograr ver el video? Sí, teacher. Ok. Sí, teacher. Ah, ahora díganme, por favor, si pueden ustedes escuchar el video. Vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar. Sí. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Ok, entonces empezamos. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. 
vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a sin enviar. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Bueno, entonces ahí está la información. Creo que ya todos ustedes están familiarizados en algún momento. Creo que lo han hecho quizás más de una vez, pero solo para un, un recordatorio. Entonces vamos a proceder ahora a hacerlo juntos. Eh, les recuerdo que uh, de que uh, vamos a mandarlo todo juntos. O sea que eh, hasta que terminemos todos y les, y les pida que lo enviemos, lo vamos a enviar. No vamos a enviarlo a um, cada quien a, a, cuando termine, ¿no? sino que vamos a hacerlo todo junto por eh, cualquier duda que tengan, cualquier problema que pueda haber en el, en el camino, pues lo solucionamos juntos. ¿Verdad? Eh, y acuérdense que solamente lo podemos estar mandando una vez. Así de que voy a compartir la encuesta para que ustedes puedan ver. ¿Ustedes logran ver la encuesta? Sí, yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, muy bien. Entonces aquí es va, eh, vamos a empezar ingresando el número de, uh, de orden de inicio. Este número, como lleva bastantes guiones y plecas, por favor no vayan a estarlo digitando ¿verdad? número por número, letra por letra, sino que tienen que um, hacerlo solamente copiar y pegar, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ¿todos tienen esa información? Póngalo, por Patricia, porque a mí no okay. me cayó el correo. Ok, eh, solo denme un momentito y ya los, se los voy a compartir. Solo un momento. ¿Lo pongo yo en el, en el chat? Sí, está bien. Um, solo que también voy a hacerlo. Igual voy a... ¿Es el nombre? Entonces, eh, sí, vamos a, a copiar y pegar. Eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer. Pero por eso de, les digo de que uh, no traten de estarlo digitando porque es muy largo. Vamos a perder eh, las... Uh, puede ser que se confundan ahí con los guiones y, ple, y plecas. Entonces, por favor, solamente es de copiar y pegar. Eh, Solo un momentito. Me está cargando esto. Estoy cargando un mundo. Ok. Ahí sí. Ya no veo. Ok, entonces lo que voy a hacer es de que para que no nos confundamos, voy a mandarlo en el, en, aquí mismo por Zoom. ¿Les parece si, si lo mando aquí por Zoom, la información? Yes. Sí. Okay. ok, perfecto. Ok, un momentito. Ok. Creo que es la misma. Sí, correcto, es la misma. Entonces ahí eh, se los he mandado por el, el chat de Zoom. ¿Ok? Y esa es precisamente la que vamos a estar compartiendo. ¿Ok?
Por favor, díganme si pueden nuevamente ver mi pantalla. Sí. Ok, entonces esto es lo que vamos a estar poniendo. Luego aquí va su nombre completo. Acuérdese que es el nombre con el que esté usted registrado en Insafor, que va a ser el nombre de acuerdo al DUI. Así que, por favor, uh, incluya todos los nombres que aparezcan en su DUI, ¿verdad? Incluyendo si eh, tiene nombre de casada, su apellido de casada. Eh, aquí va su correo electrónico de acuerdo a cómo está también inscrito, inscrito usted en Insafor. ¿verdad? Entonces, el correo. Puede ser que tenga bastante correo electrónico, pero también este va a ser el con el que usted se inscribió en Safford. En el punto número 4, igual, está su número celular de acuerdo a cómo usted está eh, registrado en Safford. Para entonces, eh, si alguno de ustedes no se acuerda del número con el que está inscrito, también tengo esta información. No sé si alguien... ¿Necesita esa información que se la pase? Maybe mi teacher y, y, de, y el nombre de la compañía. Fíjese que David, creo que en el caso suyo, creo que tenemos dos. Ajá, eso es lo que quiero hacer. Si pongo los dos, mejor, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, me parece, sí. Yo creo que lo he visto con dos números. Sí. Y sería, ajá, en ese caso creo que serían los dos. Eso es lo que quería hacer. Okay, thank you, thank you. ok, eso es todo entonces ya. Yeah. Ajá. Y, oh, okay. y cuando lleguemos al, al nombre de la compañía. Ah, y sin. Oh, ok, sí, sí, creo que lo. Ok, okay muy bien. Uh -huh. Teacher, sí, sí ¿Verdad que yo, yo aparezco como Molina Duarte? Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy Patricia, eh, ya le confirmo. Me parece Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte, correcto. Ok, okay. Uh, ¿alguna otra preguntita que tengan, chicos, en cuanto a números de teléfono? Hasta el momento, hasta ahí vamos. Ok, bueno, entonces. So, sorry, yeah. sorry, teacher. Eh, el, el link de la encuesta lo va a, a compartir. No lo tengo el correo. ¿No tiene el, 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 el link? Ah, okay. lo, man, lo mandaron al WhatsApp. Sí, correcto. Uh, ¿Lo, ¿Lo tiene o, o no? Porque yes. también se lo puedo compartir. So, solo de, déjeme ver entonces, porque no. ¿Cuándo lo enviaron? Va, ese es el, el enlace. Yo se lo, se lo he mandado a, al, al chat de Zoom. Ok, ok. Sí, sí, voy a teacher claro. porque la encuesta yo la mandé abajo es, es ese Bitly. Uh -huh, correcto. Ok, ahora, ahora sí ya lo tengo. Quiero ver. <coughs> Creo que es, se les mandé correcto, ¿no? Sí. Sí, sí, a, a mí ya me abrió. Ok, muy bien. Ok. Eh, ¿Alguna otra pre pregunta que tengan? Ay. Ok, continuamos entonces. El número 5, eh, el sexo es si usted es mujer, ponen el femenino, es hombre, masculino. Departamento de residencia, esto es a donde usted está residiendo en este momento. Entonces usted va a escoger el departamento, ¿verdad? Eh, de de aquí de la lista, ¿verdad? Usted escoge cuál de todos donde usted actualmente vive. Y igual, aquí el municipio, aquí va a tener que escribirlo directamente, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, si usted está viviendo en el departamento de San Salvador, pero quizás eh, es un municipio de residencia, es, no sé, le podría ser eh, Soyapán, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? O, no sé, um, un ejemplo. ¿Pregunta hasta el momento? No, teacher. Ok. ¿Empresa donde trabaja? 
esto es, eh, esto va a ser de acuerdo a, ¿a qué? A la ley. Por... Sí, a, a la, la razón social. Correcto, razón social. la razón social, muy bien. Entonces, no va a ser el, nom el nombre comercial, ¿verdad? Con el que la mayoría de personas lo conoce, sino que la razón social, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo, en el caso de inglés corporativo, no le pondríamos inglés corporativo porque ese es el nombre comercial, sino que sería eh, re Regal um, International, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa sería la razón social. Eh, ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? Yo le preguntaba, ¿Mm? teacher, por mi... no, no sé si es colegio cristiano o misión cristiana. Oh. Creo que es misión cristiana Nueva Pacto. Ok, ya le averiguo. No, amor, sin pelo. Me parece como misión cristiana eh, Nuevo, Nuevo Pacto. Pacto. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Sí. Thank you. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra preguntita que tengan ahí? A mí me podría confirmar cómo aparece. Uh, ¿Quién me está preguntando? Harvin, Harvin, Miranda. Harvin, Harvin. Eh, aparece como Confecciones del Valle SADCB. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. ¿Quién más? ¿Alguien más que Her, tenga? Eh, Wendy Molina es Lempa Service. Limitada de CB, ¿verdad? Lem, Lempa Service, um, Service, Services L, LTDA de CB. Vale. ¿Alguien más? No, ok, muy bien. Entonces continuamos. Eh, nombre del proveedor con el que ca se capacitó. En este caso, estaríamos bajando acá abajo y diríamos en inglés corporativo. Ese es el que va a escoger. ¿Ok? Luego, el nombre del curso. Esto es directamente también a copiar y pegar, ¿verdad? Eh, sería este de acá. ¿Incluyendo las comillas, Ticha? Eh, no. Sin comillas. Uh -huh. Entonces sería así. Se los voy a escribir en el chat. De inglés avanzado, módulo 4. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Ahora, ¿alguna preguntita antes que continúes con el, la sección 11? No, vamos bien. Vamos bien. ¿Vamos bien? Sí. ¿Aló? Yes, Bobby. No, teacher, Francisco. Hola, Francisco. Dígame. Hello. Uh -huh. Sí, le escuchamos. Esto lo quería confirmar en caso mío. Parece como Cotecna del de Salvador S.A. de C.B., ¿verdad? Uh, déjeme confirmarle. Usted aparece como... Sí. Cotecna de El Salvador, SADCB. Gracias, muchas gracias. De nada. ¿Alguna otra preguntita? Bien, continuamos. Entonces, ahora eh, serían eh, los uh, valores que hay que hay que calificar de acuerdo a su experiencia. Pero entonces, ¿cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? Eh, si es insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. ¿Qué opina del contenido y la estructura del curso? O nuevamente, insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Eh, insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno o excelente. Entonces, usted va a escoger de acuerdo a lo que usted opina. ¿Verdad? Ok. Eh, luego, en la fecha del inicio del curso, esto nuevamente vamos a copiar y pegar para que no haya ningunos, ninguna falla. Ok. 
y esto sería para el 1 de febrero de 2023. Entonces, aquí vamos a colocar, bueno, pero no, pero no, esto no es de copiar y pegar, perdón. Esto es de, de escoger en el, en el calendario. calendario. Sí, aquí está el calendario, usted va a abrirlo y le aparece acá, que sería el miércoles. Mier Entonces, ahí así lo va a encontrar. Como 1, 2 del 2023. Ok. Entonces, tiene, tiene que abrir el, el calendario, ¿verdad? Para abrir el calendario, asegúrese que esté en febrero. ¿verdad? Va a tener, porque sí, le va a aparecer va a así. Marzo. Le va a salir marzo. Entonces, sí. tiene que estar en febrero. Tiene que poner la flechita para que salga febrero y va a ser el 1 de, de febrero, que es un miércoles. Y la fecha de finalización del curso, que es el día de hoy, ahí sí, le abre y ahí está en misma fecha. ¿Ok? Muy bien. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No, teacher. No, bien. Muy bien. El, el número 14 es uh, cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso. Ahora, esto, acuérdense que esto es de acuerdo a la experiencia que ustedes han tenido en el apoyo que se les ha dado, eh, tanto en el área administrativa, ¿verdad? Como también a mi persona, ¿verdad? Como su docente, um, su, su facilitador. Entonces, eh, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción? Si usted eh, piensa que um, se le ha dado el... el, el la, el, el servicio adecuado, ¿verdad? Lo que usted ha necesitado, ¿verdad? Entonces se, se le pone satisfecho, ¿verdad? De lo contrario, si usted, eh, en, en, si usted da, siente que está insatisfecho con ello, entonces le pondría insatisfecho y ahí entendemos de que usted pues no desea continuar ahí con el curso, ¿verdad? Porque está insatisfecho. Muy bien. Eh, y en el punto número 15, mencioné otros cursos con, eh, eh, son de su interés. Entonces, usted ahí va a escoger cualquier curso que a usted le interesaría tomar en INSAFOP, ya sea que sea un, un curso existente o uno que le gustaría en un futuro adquirir, lo que usted desea aprender, ahí va a poner. Podría ser, por ejemplo, Excel, podría ser, no sé, panadería, lo que usted desee, ¿verdad? Y eh, cualquier comentario que le gustaría agregar él es el punto número 16. ¿Alguna preguntita hasta el momento? ¿Algo no, que sí. no haya quedado claro? Todo bien. ¿Todo bien? ¿Alguien más? Uh, antes que lo enviemos, eh, espere, esperemos un momentito antes de enviar. Solo quiero asegurarme que no haya preguntas, inquietudes. Ok, antes de enviar vamos a regresar nuevamente al principio y vamos a asegurarnos de que todas las casillas estén completas. Porque a veces por X motivo se nos, se nos queda uno, ¿verdad? Es sin completar. A veces se borra la respuesta. Entonces, asegúrense que vaya todo completito desde la 1 hasta la 16. ¿Ok? Revisen, por favor, uno por uno. ¿Ok? Y luego, después de revisar que todo esté completo y que esté satisfecho con sus respuestas, hasta entonces le vamos a dar Ahí enviar, vamos a darle clic acá y luego le va a aparecer ahí eh, la notificación que su respuesta ha sido enviada. Le toman captura de imagen a eso y la mandan, la, 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 la captura de imagen la mandan con su nombre completo en la parte de abajo de la foto. No lo van a mandar su nombre aparte, sino que junto con la foto. 
Lo vamos a mandar al, al WhatsApp. Al WhatsApp, correcto. Entonces, en este momento debería ya estar recibiendo cada uno de sus de sus uh, imágenes exactamente como lo están haciendo. Perfecto, hasta el momento. Veo que los que lo han mandado lo están haciendo correctamente. Asegúrense, por favor, de mandar con su nombre tal como les aparece en el DUI para que sepamos. En total debería de estar recibiendo, eh, el, o sea, todos deberían de estar mandando. Okay. Y con eso ter eh, hasta terminamos ahí el proceso de la encuesta. ¿Alguna preguntita hasta el momento? No, teacher. Ok. Muy bien. Excelente. Entonces, um, Okay, so now that we have finished that, um, how much more time do you need for the presentations? Maybe 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take you back to your, to your groups. I'm going to give you 10 more minutes. Okay. All right, here we go. We're opening the rooms. Okay, aquí ahorita me aparecen varias personas que no es que como que ingresaron nuevamente y no sé con quién estaban trabajando. Fernando Marvin, ¿con quién estaba trabajando? Dora. Con Dora, Dora, Dora. Ok, número 5. Yes, yeah. I have a little blackout, sir. Uh -huh. You have a little bit of what? Blackout. A backup. Ah, ok, ok, a blackout, yeah, no problem. It's ok, I'll send you right now. Francisco Eduardo. Francisco Eduardo. Francisco Eduardo. José Osmín. Yes, teacher. ¿Con I just está? entered to the, mean, to the meeting. So oh. I was without electricity. Oh, now, okay. So. Were you mm -hmm. working with anybody? No. Okay. No, teacher. Okay. Heidi, yeah. were you... Hello? Francisco? Francisco? Hi. Who were you working with? Francisco? Who were you working with? Maybe you can hear me. Heidi, are you there? I'm right here, teacher. Who were you working with, uh, Heidi? I was with... Juan oh, Miguel. Let me see. Juan Miguel Mejia, yes. And someone else, I don't remember. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, sorry. Okay, I'm going to sign you guys right now. Yeah. Okay. So, um, by ahorita, I'm going to assign you the sales minute. Okay, thanks. Uh, hello? hello? Francisco, who were Please you working me. with? Yes, I can hear you right now. Who were you working with? going through my work in mm -hmm. the, the signal is it's 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 not stable for a moment. Oh I see. Okay. Well I'm gonna sign you a group. 
If you can work with them, great. If not, then don't worry, okay? Thank you, Petra. Thank you. You're welcome. Heidi? Heidi? Um, hi guys, uh, Heidi is supposed to be with you, but I think she's having problems with her internet um, because um, she's already been assigned, but she hasn't come in. So I think she's having problems with the internet. Heidi. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So just uh be patient because she'll she'll come in at some point okay 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 no problem okay if you want so, you can continue and continue with it while you wait for her okay with with heidi we have choose three topics or three ict trends one of them was auto automation. The other one was IoT. And the other one was smart cities. So <clears throat> I think uh, Heidi looked the info for that in uh, I will try to, to explain something about the three topics that are in, in my case that are related uh, with the industry uh, that I work for. So for example, we were talking in the class before this about uh, some example of a smart ports and a, but is Jireri. I remember más o menos. Okay. So we have the 5G. Basically we have three, 5G network, uh, smarter devices and big data. Okay. And we are we are going to start with the 5G, right? Mhm. Mm and okay. yes, we are. And ready. we can explain about the highway in case we we have the opportunity to talk. <laughs> if we have the opportunity, yeah. Uh -huh. Are you there, teacher? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> uh, we were discussing that the, the 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 activity is very interesting. Mm. Yeah, we we we. Uh, we get excited talking about the oh, As you know, Ile Ileana works in communication. She works for Claro. So when, when she explained to me better the 5G generation, how to better understand it, because she said that's the goal. For... The goal, yeah, for the telecommunications industry is one day have that kind of network. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, cool. interesting. I, I love it when when students get uh, excited about the about the topic, <laughs> we are also, but we are. We it won't be. We are not going to present the time is. We are. Morning. Yeah, we, we were just. <laughs> we are enjoying. We're talking. <laughs> we are like the seven group. We're gonna do the best we can. Yeah, <laughs> but but if the if it's not the case, teacher, and we don't have the chance to share. We really enjoyed with Ana Claudia this activity a lot. Good, good, good. Yeah. I'm glad. Do you I'm know if you are going to to be our teacher in the next level? I don't know. I have no idea, and the reason why I don't know is because um, David was telling me that you guys like start like you 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 don't go consecutively, but instead you like you wait very many weeks so yeah. oh in this one because 
uh, I remember well. Obviously, the last model that was the the advanced four, mm -hmm. yeah, because it was the end of the year. Mm -hmm. to do it. So we we made the classes like around remember mm -hmm. and November. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to wait December, and mm -hmm. because everybody is in like the start all all the things are started again. We wait December and January. January. Oh, okay. So Two it's months. not it's not a trend. It's just it was just no, last. No, it's because this <laughs> ended the previous mm. ended at the end of the year, mm. and you know that when they they don't like to start. I remember we finished at the first week of December, right? Something like that, and then vacations will come up, and then they organize in January. Mm -hmm. They told us that there was a possibility, but not at the end. No. But between a model and another and the other model teacher, I I remember that maybe three days, something like oh. no, like or like a week, something oh, like that. Something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they have to. I I we know that they you have to to like to reach a kind of number to start. A number, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So we have yeah. to wait that that you have the, the enough students. That is what I, I was told by Hazel that they don't have a, like a date mm -hmm. where this next model, module will start because yeah. it's like they need to reach the number. Yeah, and if you've noticed, um, we have some students that are registered in this level, but they're not attending classes. Teacher, are they going to continue? Because we're discussing that too. Discussing that, Luciliana, <laughs> that we've seen the, all these uh, students, but they are passing all the courses in that way. They do not participate. They do not turn on the, the camera. So it's, I don't know. It, it, they, they are wasting the opportunity. What can I tell you? I, I, um, yeah, unfortunately, you know, everybody, um, you know, is 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 responsible for their own learning. But right? the doubt and, we have with Ileana is: does the on, the fact that they are just connected does that count for the attendance? Because it's airtime that is recorded. Yeah, yeah. I I don't I I don't have an answer for that because I'm since I'm not administration like or, or the a part of the administrative area. I don't know how they how they go about that, so I can't really answer that question. Um, but what I can tell you is definitely that um, I mean, you, if you don't participate, you don't learn. Simple as that, right? Exactly. If you if you don't, I mean, if you if you're not in class, you really don't learn. Like, so, exactly. um, so whoever, like, whoever um, goes this way is, isn't, they're, they're, you're right, they're, they're wasting their opportunities. So, um, the important thing is that you are not, <laughs> you're not <laughs> wasting it, right? You're, exactly. You're, yeah. But at least, teacher, when you've been creating the, the groups, uh, you, took that in consideration and you put them like kind of apart. But in the previous course, Ileana, remember we had to work and sometimes we had, we've been assigned to a group and with these two or three persons that they are not in class and you are like talking alone, like waiting, working alone. It's so frustrating that way. If you can make the, the call out to the administration, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and if I'm not with you guys, um, and you have another teacher, you can also point that out that um maybe that uh just to take that into account, like you guys remember that you have that that um um ask for help button, right? So exactly. if that ends up happening, just press that button and and let them know, you know, they're exactly. not responding, yeah. right? So yeah. Mm -hmm. We usually do, but mm -hmm. I hope that you be in our teaching in the next level. <laughs> yeah. If 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 I don't end up with this one, maybe the next one. I don't know. Yeah. Right. So we'll have we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but thank you, teacher, for all that we uh, learn on this course. Always, I learn a lot with you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I can help. I really am. Okay, I'm going to return everybody to okay. the class, the, the main room, because we have very little time. Okay. okay.
Hello, Wendy. Sorry, teacher. I stay in my group and I stay in the in yeah, here yeah. because, because I, in my cell phone, I can't uh, show the presentation. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I was I was gonna ask you about that. <laughs> okay. All right. So okay. So we have it. Okay. So guys, um, uh, we're going to. We're going to start presenting, but I'm going to ask you guys a big favor. I know that you guys have discussed a lot of things and you put a lot of work into the presentations, but if it's possible to like reduce the time that you were going to be presenting so that we have as many presentations as possible. Okay. So we're going to start with uh, group number one, which is Fernando Ernesto and Jose Osmi. Uh, we we didn't finish the the presentation, but but we have uh, maybe we shows the. Uh, I I I wear with I work with different partners before the the the, the, the survey. So oh. after the, after uh, we we I have a in my case I have a, the three I show the three. Uh, trending oh. about CT, uh, CT uh, I can explain you, but okay. I didn't finish it. That's okay. It's whatever you have, whatever you have, it's okay. Anyways, we don't have very much time, so it's okay. No, whatever, okay. You, whatever you have. Okay, we uh, I chose uh, three: uh, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, and cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. uh, and artificial intelligence because uh, uh, nowadays uh, that is that is getting a, a big a big boom in, in technologies. Uh, artificial intelligence uh, in the future maybe could replace some maybe humans, uh, uh, human works because uh, they 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 are in, in uh, they are connect with the connected with the machine learning. Uh, machine learning. Uh, uh, fit the, the artificial intelligence because, for example, you, you have a, a system that uh, it has made for uh, maybe uh, predict the, 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 the weather. Uh, every day, uh, he, uh, the, the, the system are, the system is uh, gathering data from the, from the weather, uh, uh, how, how is the temperature, or is the weather? Is it is rainy or is sunny? That all that data uh, helps to the artificial intelligence to predict the weather, maybe uh, in a specific day, in a specific uh, week, in a specific month. That is the, the way that that works. Uh, cyber security. Uh, the, the cyber security is a is a big part of the businesses. Uh, Nowadays, because uh, that this, the, the security is the that the, the companies uh, always are looking for uh, has a, a neighbor, network security, cloud security. Uh, you can uh, hire maybe some services like uh, in your home for your car for your system. Uh, all those uh, things. Can suffer from data breach uh, because uh, all the, 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 the security threats always are in, in on internet. So uh, that is the. the, the, the topic. Okay, that's it. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, thank you. Let's go on out to group number two. 
Um, I don't know who's group number two. I think Wendy, were you group? I think who are you working with, Wendy? William. Okay. Is William here? So things so okay, so Wendy will we'll wait till later to see if maybe William comes in. If if not, we'll um we'll we'll do it at the end, okay? So we're gonna go to the next group, David and Jose Marcos. Okay. Sorry, I was talking with my my mucon. Uh, we choose uh, three elements. We choose uh, uh, Jose Marcos. Tell us, please. Okay. To the chair, the 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 power one. So we have the ICT trend and impact in the industry. So we choose computer and power, smart smart devices and data data application. So the first uh, concept, computer and power, is um is the higher capability of the machine device that we give the students the ability to all the books, notes, materials that they need, including videos and Picture. So, computer, because computer we power. are applying to the educational field, for for that reason we focus on the on the students. Uh, the computer are increasing the capability. The smartphones and all devices are having more power, more power, and it's time more power. And uh, there are many many things that you can store, you can do, you can. A work with in the new devices and it will increasing in the future more and more. Next. Okay. Perfect. Uh, smart devices. Okay, smart yes. devices. Um, for example, uh, the artificial intelligence uh, play an essential role in making our world smarter and smoother. So, for example, the data scientists. Uh, are working always in uh, IA home robots, flying world devices, wearables, and there are another uh, so much things. So almost every job needs a, a small a smart software application to control a smart home system or system intelligent systems in, in some areas in, in the job. So uh, the smart devices is a high requirement and demand for the company because the companies are always trying if they want to keep uh, on going to con or continue with grow growing uh, they need to transform in the all the process in digital spaces so in this case uh, smart devices allow the the students to to use these devices to learn, to, to learn uh, easier and funnier. So these devices uh, will give them the capability to reach more resources and maybe uh, learn with games. For example, uh, they can learn geography in a web. A web page that is like a game where you can identify the 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 countries, and that that is a a a, a funny way to do it. Uh, the next one is the application. Application is transforming everything in our life into uh, into devices or software powered by data. So that is that application is. Uh, the modification of all the image shores and that into driving technology. So, uh, from our smartphone, it is from a scene and office application to AI. And uh, we can take the, the data 
uh, as long as is possible. So it's important to record all the information so the application or devices can work um, um, smart because they use all all this data to perform their task in a better way. So in in the uh, teaching field, um, David will David will explain how we can apply the education. Yes, we can use to many things to make the time that the students stay for solving a test. Even the pressure, even the stress, uh, through smart watches and smart devices, all of the information in the real world can be put in a data in an app, and we can get uh, more and more information every time. That is important, and I think that is all, teacher, to give the opportunity to other group. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys, that was a wonderful presentation and thank you also for, for um, taking the time into consideration. Okay, so the next group um, that we have is um, eh, Ramon, who are you working with Ramon? Oh no, sorry, I think Ramon, sorry, Dora, Dora and Fernando Marvin. Hi teacher. Okay. okay. Okay, I will share my screen and tell me if you can see. Okay, you can see. Okay, you yes, see. we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, ICT trends in business. So, ICT is information and communication technology all the infra infrastructure and component that enable modern computing. So nowadays we have trends for ICT like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, blockchain, etc. But we think that it's early, it's, it's early for talking about this artificial intelligence and machine learning in our world, actually. Uh, currently, sorry. So, I so we think that other group that talking about that generalities of artificial intelligence and machine learning and all and and so on. So, taking this in consideration, we choose three specific a specific example that ICT that we use in in a daily basis. So the first one is digital toolkit that. Uh, it's a it's a package of, of tools that we use in not only in our words we use in our personal life because all people use uh, social media not only for business we use for for personal for personal reason and we use a browser for sharing information we use service like for for say information that offer different kind of file. We use application for communication. Um, common is uh, chat application, and we use service for for sale for sale files. Uh, this this picture is all is not not is no is an update because uh, this technology is all, but this is the the interesting thing that that technology has changed every day. So in second place, we have government online. So Dora, can you talking about? Okay. I try to explain, can use the platform in my workplace. For example, uh, I use a government platform for presentation uh, tax, how pre, uh, presentation other took all other documents in different different uh, entities 
government. El, I use a platform CNR. Is before I I must at the most um, physical presentation. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, I there are a, 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 I have a uh, there are physicals today or is only for platform the uh, no, I don't know what to say tramitología in 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 English but the term, all tramit is in, in online. That's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. okay we have last one. Oh, there's okay. One more then? Okay. Yeah. Can you see my presentation? Yes. Ah okay. no. Okay. No, it's changed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, can you see my presentation, ERP system? Yes, we can. Okay, oh, the last one I will be brief is an ERP system. So, bit company use a system like ERP because uh, they have a lot of module for for each area. For example, inventory, uh, sales, uh, human resources, uh, even accounting modules. So, it's a uh, it's a good form to to have a control for all the information that you have in your company and for and for handle of this. So, but if you are a, a little company, so then you don't need IRP. You maybe you need a system specific for your area. So that's it. Okay. Very good. Very good, round of applause, excellent. Okay, um, uh, well, we've run out of time, but if a group wants to really, really present, uh, we could make an exception there for one more group. Any of the groups that have not presented really want to present, we can do that. No, everybody would just want to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, all right. So in that case, um, let me finish off by uh, taking the tens, okay? Um, okay, just give me a moment, guys. Well, I get this ready. Okay. Oh, just before before we finish off, I just reminder: today is the last day of class. Therefore, I need everybody to finish the platform. Um, so make sure that it's done by the end of the day, because I'm going to be um, uh, finishing the uh, the report tomorrow morning. Uh, and I need to send it. So um, there won't be very much time uh, for you to do it early morning, okay? So I need you guys to finish off today if you haven't finished. Okay, so we have um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Dora. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Fernando Marvin. Present. Uh, Francisco Eduardo. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, Heidi. I think Heidi was having trouble with her internet. So, um, okay. Uh, um, Ileana. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Just a second. Um, okay. Um, 
Harvin. Present teacher. Jose Marcos. Present. Jose Osmin. Present teacher. Wonderful. Jose Wilfredo, no, right? Juan Miguel. I'm here. Present. Okay. Ramón Enrique. Roberto Luis. Eh, Roxana Ivette. Roxana. Jose Roxana. William Alexander. Ah, I can see her. <laughs> okay. Um, William? Is William here? Okay. Uh, Suley Maibon? Wendy? Present. Okay. And Wilfredo Guardado. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all. Um... I guess you still have not received information as to when uh, the next course begins. So we're just going to have to be patient to see what happens, um, what happens in the next module. OK, so just um, make sure that you are um, that you are checking your email, uh, your email so that, uh, you know, you get the information as soon as possible. Um, and that way you don't miss the starting date. OK. Um, other than that, it's been a pleasure. You're welcome, uh, Wendy. Thank you, teacher, for everything. You're welcome, Ana Claudia. It's a pleasure for me to always have you guys. Um, it was it was uh it was great to be able to see many of your faces again, and I hope that I have the opportunity of seeing you guys at least one more time. Um, if not, I wish you all the best, and um. You know, maybe in the future, who knows? We'll we'll end up seeing each other in some moment. <laughs> we have to visit if we you travel to Turkey. <laughs> yes, you can come and visit me. Of course, of course. If you ever if you ever have any plans to come to Turkey, just you know, message me and uh, I can I can guide you. I can I can um, you know uh, be your tour guide. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Okay, it's been Thank a pleasure, guys. Much. Take care. Have a Not wonderful sure. evening. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, You're welcome. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 B